In this video, we're going to look at how we can create a customer account in Sage. Now, first of all, you should be aware that many businesses offer credit terms to customers. By this, I mean that they allow their customers to pay some time after the invoice has been raised. Um, where this happens, the business needs to be able to establish how much is um, outstanding from each of its customers and how long the amounts, the debts, have been outstanding for. So in order to create a customer account, what we'll do is we'll go into the customer module. Now this can be accessed by clicking on the customers um, uh, link on the left hand side of our page. So if I click that, I go into the customer module and we can see at the moment that this business already has two customer accounts set up. And we're going to set up a third. There's a number of ways that we can do this, but I think the easiest is to get, use the wizard, which will take us through the various steps um, to create this account. So I'll click on the wizard button, and then this brings up a window, and we'll just work our way through providing the information that's requested. The first thing to put in is the customer name. So we have a business called Delphine Rare Metals Limited. And we also need to uh, include an account reference. Now, Sage will create a, a default reference, but this is typically um, uh, inappropriate for most businesses. So we'll go along with the um, preferred reference. So that's Delta 2. And then I can record the business's address. So once our address is put in, we can click on the next button. Our second screen um, we can end, uh, enables us to enter uh, some further contact details, such as telephone numbers. Fax numbers, email address, websites. Um, one thing that is typically important is a, a contact name, as this gives us the name of whoever to contact if there is a problem with the account. So we'll enter in the contact name and so on. Once I'm happy with the, uh, that information, I'll click on next. And the next setting enables me to uh, put in um, or record some customer defaults, whether there is a standard discount, for instance, that's applied um, to this customer account. Um, there's nothing in there that I want to change. I, I look at this and I'm happy with all of the different boxes and the fact that uh, this tax code here, this refers to the VAT rate that's going to be applied as a matter of course to the invoices for this customer. So I'll just click on next. In the fourth screen, I can record some information about the uh, credit terms being offered to the customer. The first is the credit limit. Now, this is um, the maximum amount that we are willing to have outstanding from this customer. So um, it's an important piece of information when a, a business is dealing with um, a, a customer on credit. So I'll record the credit limit, £8,000. Um, if it's the case that I offer a settlement discount, that is a, a discount that's applied for customers paying more quickly than they have to. I could put that into the settlement due days, that'd be the number of days um, for which this settlement discount would apply, as well as the actual settlement discount rate as a percentage in the settlement discount box. I don't offer, uh, or this business doesn't offer uh, settlement discounts, but I can then record how long the customer is given before they need to pay. So we're going to enter 30 days. And I'll also write that down um, in the terms box. So payment 
in 30 days. If it is the case that the customer has agreed to these terms, then we'll tick the terms agreed box. Um, I'm now happy with all of the information on that um, window, so I'll just click on next. Now the next two windows um, enables me to record the customer's bank account details. Um, uh, and we'd enter those if it was the case that that, was, that would be um, important for any transactions relating to this customer. But it's not in this case, so I'll leave that blank and the following screen blank as well. Our final screen asks whether or not at the point when we're starting to record information in sales, whether there is uh, an amount outstanding from um, the customer or indeed whether we owe the customer. So we have three options here. If it's the case that the customer doesn't owe anything when this account is being set up, then we can just put, we can just leave um, the uh, box marked no, there is no opening balance to enter. Um, however, in this case, um, we have an amount outstanding from Delphine Rare Metals Limited of £2,100. Now, I can enter those into Sage as individual transactions. By that, we mean individual um, invoices, or I can record it just as one value. And I'm going to record it as one value. So I'll click on that, and then I'll let, um, complete the boxes that then appear. As Delphine Rare Limiteds owes Steptones Unlimited some money, We'll record it as an invoice. If it was the case that uh, Steptoe and Son Limited, for whatever reason, owed its customer some money, we'd record it as a credit note. But here I'll record the date, so 01 01 2017, that's the start date for this um, account, um, for this financial period. And in the amount, I'll record the amount that's outstanding, so 2100 Once I'm happy with that, I can click the Create button. And now Sage has added that particular uh, account to the list of customers.